Hi guys, it's John here again. First video of 2012, so I hope you're all doing okay so far. Today we're going to be showing you how to S on your HTC Desire S. Now S on is what you'd probably want to do if you need to send your phone back to HTC for warranty repair because um, obviously when it's S off it's not under warranty and uh, S on you've got a better chance of uh, getting repaired if you have a problem with it. So this will tell you how to undo everything you've done so far if you've unrooted your phone and sorry if you have rooted your phone and um, you can get it back to factory factory settings and hopefully get your repair sorted out. Now I've had a lot of requests for this and um, my phone is currently S on still so we'll see sorry it's, it's S off so we'll see if this works and uh, hopefully it will. Okay so these are the things you are going to need Obviously you're going to need your HTC Desire S mobile phone. Um, make sure you've got at least 50% battery in, uh, just so it doesn't run down whilst you're uh, upgrading it, or downgrading it I should say. You're also going to need your HTC sync cable. Now, you'll need this not only to copy files across onto your phone, but also to install the new, or the old, however you look at it, software onto the phone. Along with that, you may also need half a cup of tea, I'm going with half a cup today um, you shouldn't need a whole cup because it won't take too long so half should be good and also some kind of de-stressing device in case your phone blows up whilst you're doing this now you're going to need to know a few things um, what you're going to install on your phone is the original software that came with the phone so you're going to need what is called an RUU which is a ROM upgrade utility file now these come um, in specific files depending on what phone you've got and obviously also depending on what operator you have as well. So I'm currently with my HTC RS with um, uh, T-Mobile so I need to make sure I get the specific one for my phone. A T-Mobile RUU file for the HTC RS. Now what you need to do to get this file is go onto the XGA developers site and go to this location on their forums. HTC Desires, Desires Android Development and then this section here which is a sticky uh, thread ROM shipped Desires ROM collection. Now in here you'll see um, a link here to all the um, RUU ROMs or original firmwares for the phone. So once you click on here you'll open up another page and you'll see here the list of different um, RUU files for each different uh, well the different countries and obviously also the different operators as well so the one I'm going to download is this one here RUU Saga, Saga is the code name for the phone, the Desire S T-Mobile, UK and this is the one I need to get so Get the one depending on obviously your country and your operator. Um, you see here we've got ones for Virgin, uh, one for T-Mobile Germany, and uh, other European ones and Chinese and you know there's a, there is you know other UK ones here. Just, you've just got to find them in the list. So once you've downloaded that, um, we can move on to the next step. So we've got our downloaded files now, and we're almost ready to go. But um, what I want to do really is back up my current one. Um, to my SD card so uh, when the phone comes back from HTC I can just restore it and everything will be back as it was. Now obviously I'd have to S off again before that but uh, I'll just quickly show you how to back up your ROM in case you don't know. You should already have ROM Manager installed I would have thought. So go into that and down here you've just got a link here to back up the current ROM. So click on there give the backup a name, the default is just the date and the time press OK and it will reboot now into the recovery and back itself up. So this will take a few minutes um, but once it's backed up reboot your phone and uh, we'll go from there. OK so now my device is all backed up nicely I'm going to use a program called Android Flasher now this will enable us to uh, flash various things to the um, across to your phone via the USB so all we've got to make sure is that we've got USB debugging enabled we've got the fast boot drives installed there's a link in the description just in case you haven't got those still 
uh, Windows computer with uh, .NET Framework 4.0 and uh, some kind of image that you're going to be flashing across. Now, along with uh, the Android Flasher program you need to download, you're also going to need to download the new HBoot version. Now, if I just power my phone on and go to the HBoot menu, you'll see the version that I've currently got installed. OK, so you can see my HBoot version is currently 6.98.1002. Now, to get the official HTC software to install properly and go back to stock, I need to make that go back to version 0.98.002. Now, obviously this is required not only to reinstall the HTC software, but also if you ever want to reroute again, if you remember um, on the revolutionary website, when you're routing through this method, you and S offing as well, you need to select your HBoot version. So as there's only two for the desire, S, you need to make sure you get the correct one. You can obviously flash a new one if you go wrong, but uh, you might as well get it right first time. So I'm going to make sure I download a 0.98.002 HBoot file. And I found one on the XDA developer's site. If you search for this thread title, revert back to stock, remove re revolutionary, you'll find this very kind person here, uh, Gibby31, has actually put a link here to this pre this collection of files, revert to stock.rar. So if you click on there to download, what you'll get in that package is as follows. Okay, so these are the files that you will get in the revert to stock.rar package. Uh, zip, unzip them to your desktop or somewhere and then uh, you can have a look. So we've got Android Flasher, this is the program which we will use to flash the HBoot and also you've got in here the English HBoot here which we will flash along across to the, uh, the phone. So let's get down to business. Okay, so we're ready to go back to the original HBoot. So what we're going to do, plug in via USB. Now again, make sure fast boot is turned off in the settings and make sure USB debugging is enabled. And then we're just going to select charge only. We don't really need to do anything else other than that. So we'll leave that there. Okay, so we're going to load up Android Flasher. And then we're going to flash the new or the old HBoot version. So just click next here. Select your phone in the list. You can scroll left and right here depending on what phone you've got. And then select here bootloader. Click browse. Now go to the uh, location where you extracted the RAR file of the revert stock. And in here in the flash ing HBoot, double click and then select the English HBoot over ARX.image. Click open. OK, now what you might want to do is, just for fun, boot your phone into fast boot mode. So that's quite easy to do. Um, obviously boot into the recovery mode by holding down the volume button and powering on. And then at the top of the screen you'll see fast boot. Now cl click on there and you'll uh, go into the fast boot. You can tell you're in fast boot by this thing here, fast boot USB. So we can tell the program here that we are already in fast boot. So we'll tick that and then we'll click flash. You'll see some things appear on the screen. It's saying it's finished. Okay, and now you see the revolutionary uh, section at the top here has disappeared. So we've removed the revolutionary uh, program from the phone and we can now reboot into the operating system and then we can start installing the RUU file to get the S on back. Okay so we flashed the HBoot file now we're back in the OS we're going to connect back up with USB we're going to select uh, charge only, we're going to click done and now we can run the RUU file so if we look back up here we're going to right click on here run as administrator 
Click yes. Okay, so we're going to get some instructions here and we're going to tick through the boxes and just keep clicking next until it installs the software. Okay, we're going to click update. We're going to go from a more up to date version 1.36 to an older version 1.30. Next. And then next again. Okay, so now the program is rebooting into the bootloader. It's now erasing the data and it's sending the package across all the time here. You've got the HTC logo on the phone. Now you can see it's updating the radio. So this is putting back all the original bits and pieces on the phone. And if we look at the phone now you can see a progress bar, a green one, uh, whilst it updates and gets all the information sent to it. Now I wouldn't recommend moving your phone around too much when you've got it plugged into the computer just in case the USB connection fails. So while this is happening I suggest you go and uh, grab a bite to eat, perhaps a bacon sandwich or something along those lines just to uh, keep your energy going and uh, hopefully by the time you're back you will have a nice restored phone. <laughs>
they get um, you know get it all back to factory settings. Now if you remember a while back I uh, uploaded a video showing you how to S off your HTC Desire S and all very well you know very grateful for some of the feedback I've had but I just keep on getting messages about the Wildfire S and it's getting to the point where I'm actually starting to go crazy. The phone seems to be stalking me and um, the comments keep on coming about the HTC Wildfire S and uh, well let me show you what I mean. Does it work for the Wildfire S? Does it work for the Wildfire S GSM mode? Yes, it works with the HTC Wildfire S. Does it work with Wildfire S? Does anyone know if this method works with the Wildfire S model? Thanks in advance. Will this work on Wildfire S? Not Wildfire, Wildfire S. Please answer. If not, how can I get my Wildfire S S off? Cheers. Is it work for Wildfire S? Marvel. Wish it could work on the Wildfire S. Sad face. Does this work on Wildfire S? Question mark, 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 question mark. Does it work on the Wildfire S? Just checking. But will this work on the Wildfire S? Can this work for the Wildfire S? Can you route the HTC Wildfire S from Metro PCs? I need to know, please. There's a Wildfire and a Wildfire S. Wildfire S didn't mention here. Can I do that with Wildfire S too? What means the route? What does it do? Does it work with the HTC Wildfire S? Will it work on Wildfire S? Do it work on HTC Wildfire S? Very nice vid, but still no good for the Wildfire S. Can you help? Does it work with Wildfire Wildfire S? One lemon? So this will work on Wildfire S? What ROM is best for a Wildfire S? Does it work for Wildfire S? Please reply. Does it work for HTC Wildfire S? Will this work for the Wildfire S? Does it work on the Wildfire S? Is it safe? Does it work on Wildfire S? Anyone knows. Wildfire means Wildfire S2? What the <laughs> No HTC Wildfire S in the list? Why? Okay, I need a program to S off my HTC Wildfire S. I have Wildfire S. Will it work? Will this work on Wildfire S? Lucky my Wildfire S does not support this. Why is there any Wildfire and no Wildfire S? Matt Smith, will it work on Wildfire S? This guy clearly hasn't played Portal 2. Cave Johnson FTW. So no, this isn't for the Wildfire S, this is for the Desire S. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If um, you want to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos, then feel free to. If not, I don't blame you because um, it's not the most exciting channel in the world. But anyway, I'll hopefully see you again soon for another video, and um, until then, uh, have fun.